In this module, we explore the diverse ways learners can express what they value, know, and can do. We focused on how to offer choice and options for learners to demonstrate their learning. When we brought in learning spaces to welcome different ways of knowing and doing, we invite learners to act and express ways that honor their lived experiences and learning goals. Learners communicate optimally in certain modalities depending on the context and learning materials. There is no singular means of action expression that will be optimal for all learners in all contexts. As such, providing various options for action and expression is essential for responding to the needs and talents of the widest range of learners possible. The multiple means of action expression principle consists of three main guidelines. Options for physical action, options for expression and communication, and options for executive function. The multiple means of action expression principle, the how of learning, helps us provide options and support so everyone can learn, create, and share in ways that work for them. There are many different ways to provide options and choice through modality of format, topic choice, question choice, and flexibility of timing. Having options can be richly rewarding for learners. In this module, we thought about which technology tools we use for action and expression that could be used in learning, personal, and professional environments. Access to learning can be enabled or hindered through technology. Many of the technologies we enjoy today are a result of disability innovation. For example, text-to-speech has allowed individuals with learning disabilities to record their ideas effectively. The same disability innovation has allowed smartphone users to easily send messages to friends while carrying groceries, or writers to record ideas while riding transit, or everyone to avoid more screen time in an already screen-heavy day. However, technologies that increase accessibility and creativity for some may present barriers to others. Research suggests that post-secondary learners need a gradual and supportive process when learning to express themselves optimally. This can be done through scaffolding elements in the course, such as formative activities and opportunities to make connections. Offering choice to learners from the beginning of the course helps them to practice different modes of expression before choosing a format for higher stakes assessments. For example, offering the choice of written word, spoken word, or visual modes for self-introductions is a low stakes way for students to explore different formats early in the learning experience. It allows learners to adjust and acclimatize to multiple means of action and expression before engaging in higher stakes assessment. Learners vary in their ability to monitor progress, plan, organize, and predict how long it takes to complete multi-step projects. Our brain's strategic networks includes the prefrontal cortex, which is largely responsible for executive functioning. Executive functioning includes the ability to regulate inhibitions, operate working memory, and be cognitively flexible when managing complex tasks. As Chardon and Novak noted, executive functioning requires students to consistently reflect on their progress and be flexible enough to choose more appropriate strategies in an attempt to successfully complete the task. Goal setting is contextual and discipline specific, but having students reflect on their goals and how they align to the course can be an opportunity for them to further connect the course and course materials to their lived experiences. Learners ask themselves whether the space is safe or unsafe, specifically the status and rank of those in the space and how much say they have, if they are aware of the expectations, and whether they feel they are part of a team. Learners can build new connections if they find themselves in a learning environment that welcomes their whole selves. It is important not to assume barriers based on an individual's unique social identity, aspects of which are both visible and invisible. In our linear, semestered, and credentialed post-secondary system, Success in a program is often defined narrowly as graduating on time, getting an entry-level job in the field, or pursuing further formal education. But this is not the definition of success for everyone. There is much more work that needs to be done at a systems level to welcome other definitions of success. At the course and program levels, however, we can use the UDL framework to promote multiple pathways and entry points into the curriculum to allow students to achieve what they want from their learning experience. When we brought in learning spaces to welcome different ways of knowing and doing, learners are able to express what they value, know, and can do. Under the action expression principle, learners gain skills to plan, strategize, and inform their own learning expertise to interweave their past and present to broaden their learning.